Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on installing and configuring operating system. Today we're going to talk about installation media, installation method, and types of installation. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We begin with installation media and method. I rolled those two into one just because it makes a lot of sense. So for installation media, the first thing that you can do is an installation of the operating system using hard media. Think CD-ROM, DVD, USB, portable hard drive, so on and so forth. Another type of media that you can use is the network share. The operating system is available over the network and the media is not in the technician's hands. And finally, in the media, you can use an image. The image can be on physical media or it can be over the network. A base or preferred operating system has been created and it is stored in a file. This is best for mass deployment. For installation methods, we go back to the physical media. That's the classic method. Power up the system, install the disk, and then we'll sit around and wait. For this, the technician needs to have the media and this is best suited for small deployments. Now let's move on to network deployment. For network shares, the PC downloads the operating system from a server. This requires more setup as there is more hardware that is involved. The PC gets fired up and it requests a copy of the operating system upon boot up attempt. This is best for larger deployments. Then there is the image. The standard image is used in multiple cases. Uh, this requires some specific procedures, but it can also speed up some larger deployments as all the images are the same. Now let's move on to types of installation. So that first off, there's the clean installation. This is taking a machine that doesn't have an operating system or does have one and putting a brand new one on it. This is a fresh start. Contains the most steps, but it also affords you the most flexibility. Then there is the upgrade installation. This updates the operating system with minimal interruption. It keeps all files and programs the same, but you need to make sure that you're following the proper upgrade path. Then we have the repair installation. This is used to fix a broken operating system. The system is treated like an upgrade and it requires the license key as well. Applications and data are moved to the windows.old file. Then there's the multi-boot installation. This allows for multiple operating systems to reside on the same machine. Each operating system must have its own partition. The user selects which operating system to load at boot. Then there's an unattended installation. This is where the technician uses a special script file to provide responses to systems variables. Then there's the remote network installation. The installation files reside on a remote server and it requires a DHCP server, a DNS server, a domain, and a PXE client, a PIXI client. That's a pre-execution environment client. And it also requires a, the proper operating systems license. So now let's talk about image deployment remote. It is very similar to a remote network installation. An image, by the way, is a snapshot of a given system at a given time. And using an image can lead to some problems, as in multiple security identifiers. Networks and systems don't like that. If you use the sysprep tool after creating the reference system, you can strip out the SID before you capture the image. Now let's talk about image deployment local. This is where you place the image onto a hard media as in a DVD, USB, portable hard drive, and you go and visit each machine deploying the image one by one. Now that concludes this session. We talked about installation media and methods and different types of installation. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm looking forward to doing more.